Hello and welcome to day 72 in creating this PHP web framework. And um, yeah, let's get down to this in part three in creating or implementing the single page web functionality, which we're getting quite far with. So if we just have a refresher, make sure example is turned on, it is. So go to our page. So if I click login, you see URL didn't change, it didn't reload the page. The title changed because that's part of the JavaScript that's prompted in from this page. I click register for example, changes it again, but again, it's still technically on the same page of getting the actual content of it. If I were to go to login, and if I went to login for example, that still does it in the normal way and that's because what we implemented last time which was this path to self method then you just return in data that's built into php functionality so index nope no index login here so the action at least has a path to itself so the action actually works mm. I'll, I'll just about to say that we should go to all of the other pages and anywhere there's a form do that not yet because we got the functionality that that might change the way we interact with it and what it does because one major issue I can see right now, actually I'll, I'll add these to the Trello so we have a track of them. Where's the checklist? Checklist, tasks, and we have back button on you know, not working, not loading the previous. Previous view, there's status bar slash progress. I'll explain this one later on, probably won't be this video. But the back button not load in the previous view, and what I mean by that is this if we, what I'm going to do is go to the index.js, comment out. this so if I click log out so if I click log out works fine if I click login that's actually changing the page now but if I were to click back take me back to that page if I go to register and that's probably not the best page to do with that if I go to login go to register if I click back it goes to the login page click back it goes to the index page so, you know just general history just basic stuff if I implement this watch what happens click login that's loaded it using JavaScript and not reloaded the actual backend page if I click back now again start this this isn't the best page to show okay if I click login then I click the register page the previous page should be the login page which is the one we will on. if I click it it's actually the login page because this hasn't changed we're just getting it via javascript so realistically we need to keep track of let's see what sort of we're thinking we could use an array that we could just essentially add the view to because we have paid ref input so this paid ref input so if i click that login console so we already have page ref. Yeah, we, we already have this. So we can essentially just keep track of them. Let's try and think what sort of so stuff in an array should realistically be enough. Let's have a look. Let's go to array, is that enough? Because you can easily just delete elements. 
Thirty-nine million. Make it a push, and there'll be a pop method as well to get rid of it. There was the JP me. I rolled go. I think I've already got it dot ready, I think that, that's what it is. So in here if I put dollar view history equals just square brackets. So first of all you want to get the current page they're on because we could put the index page in the view history but you might not be going on to the index page first if that is possible for that reason we don't want that now we are going to i'll rename this stuff and i'll actually encapsulate it within a method which will be called so we need to reuse it we can but this is for testing for now if i click on hmm. Yep, no other took me. No, no, no. I want this to be a var. Oh, this, this is JavaScript. So, view history. Stop. No, no popping anything yet. Push page ref. So, we got the initial page rep. So, assuming it's being successful, only then. We're going to do push something else onto it. No, it's going to be the page ref input. It's not the response that we want. I can already see a problem with this, but. I've already figured out a solution, so let's just get this working first. jQuery detect browser back button. I'm pretty positive we can do it, but I'm not sure how. What the actual method is? Let's Google it. Oh, something just popped up on my laptop. So it says, "Do you want to install this?" This it's an update for the graphics card. If you're interested, don't need the internet bandwidth now. Go read my internet now, anyway, so you can download. Let's try that. So, pretty here for now. There uh, should be a semicolon there. What are all these errors for? What is the first one? Well, it is defined, but obviously, this isn't able to get the fact that we have jQuery in there. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just all online where there's a dollar except for this one, but. No errors in the console. One second. One second.
Okay, back to this. So, let's just run this for now. See what we get. Our function. Unless this is some JavaScript library. Nope. Probably what? New project. Okay, there we go. Can this only detect backwards and not forwards? Yeah, seriously. Still might be a cool library, nothing like that, but. No wiki. This is the first part of the series. So this is Google website I was looking at because I it was a new web website, it looked very good in terms of single page app. He had all the bells and whistles that we wanted. Refresh this. I want to add about five minutes. So you get gold shop. Poly.google.com. Okay. One second. Second. Okay, so pilot.google.com. I'll leave that, that might be useful. So pilot.google.com. So, what I want to see is how this actually interacts, uses the back button. So, obviously, this is a single page app part. If I click back, Actually, no. Okay. I just want to see just the mobile view because again, this is probably going to be more useful for like the mobile side of it. So click that. Go to blog. In the back button is actually refreshing because if I like click on this one for example shows a but if I do that best single page websites most popular Single page websites. Google Plus. Uh, this is a single page website. Not what I wanted. Uh, no. Why would I want to go on this? I'm actually logged in. So we'll click think with Google. Does a single page functionality, the Twitter if I click that. 
that's most likely how the user would see it on like, like a phone for example and that's how they probably would interact with it like more like an app because this does feel very much like an app but if i click the back button see they still have that as well so click that wrong thing app brain it does the magic trickery if i go on to uh, uh, nope, do not want that. Don't want to ban anyone. See, so yeah, I just want to transition to another page. Yeah, back. Show the bar. Back button. And show the bar, but it transitions very smoothly. Whereas if I actually know. No, I'm pretty sure they've overridden the back button. It, to me, it appears like they've overridden the back button. Okay. Another task I want to add as well. Modify URL for new changes. Okay, reload. See if we can modify the URL. All of the others seem to be able to, so back button so still looking at the back button stuff so put that here just see what that does so login back that's overridden it That has overridden the back button. I am literally unable to go back. That's a good thing, by the way. And okay. to time as well yeah, a bit longer yeah let's just handle the back button first so we got this done that's good really should have a method for this so I'll have a look at that in a bit and put that in here might be push the push state might actually be the what's it called thing so Actually, no. I'm going to pop it to view history dot pop. So what I'm going to do is after every successful thing, should be a semicolon there. I'm going to do console dot log view history refresh uh, because that's literally overridden it obviously this still works fine Okay, that's that was weird, whatever that was. Okay, so if I click 
let me open up the console first so console login you have login in there for click register If that's interfering with it, console login register. Why is the JavaScript array not working? The simple JavaScript array down is down is not working. Just to make sure that this has declared the element array, let's do this. Login register. But when it's pushing it, why will that not work? The JavaScript is getting loaded every single time. If I click register again, why? Because we're we're getting all of you know our stuff, which, 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 which. Obviously, has CSS and more importantly, JavaScript, and that's getting reloaded. I'll leave it for next time because there's a couple of things we could look into for fixing this. New view, fix new view, always loading JavaScript. There's like one idea that comes to mind that could potentially fix it is if there's a single page app. Don't reload the JavaScript potentially in the CSS, they'll actually reduce it quite a bit because using this template, like all the pages have access to all of the files. Only reload the PHP side if it's a single page app, which most of your website won't be. I think that's a possibility. So we'll explore that a bit more next time. Leave these tabs open, I think they will help us. But overall, I'm happy with the progress. It's all good stuff. So thanks for tuning in for day 72. As usual, there will be GitHub links in the description. Feel free to contribute, write code, ideas, all that stuff. And I look forward to seeing you in day 73.